There are new details this morning about two worrisome incidents involving Sunwing flights. A close call in Belfast last year. Investigators say it could have been catastrophic. The second just last week on a flight to Toronto. Let's go to John Northcott because he's tracking both of these as they develop. Beginning with that earlier incident, John, in Ireland, we're just getting the results from an aviation incident uh, investigation report, and it is concerning. Yeah, this by British authorities, Heather, in which they uh, describe uh, what they believe happened uh, to the aircraft uh, as it was taking off from the Belfast airport. What they now say was that there was an error in inputting the temperature. Well, why does that matter? Well, you use less jet fuel and less thrust to take off in colder temperatures. So the figure put into the computer for it to read minus 52 degrees Celsius. The actual temperature, 16 degrees Celsius, plus 16 that is. So a significant gap there. The engines were effectively at 60% thrust, very close to the ground to the point where at the end of the runway, the wheels of the aircraft hit a light on the runway. This, after a year and a half long investigation by British authorities, when they described the only thing that's prevented this from being a significantly, potentially catastrophic situation was the nature of what existed at the end of the runway. In other words, nothing for it to hit. Let's look at what authorities said there. It's only the benign nature of the runway clearway and terrain elevation beyond and the lack of obstacles on the climb out path that allowed the aircraft to climb away without further collision. In other words, had there been anything substantial at the end of the runway, it could have been catastrophic. We've reached out to Sunwing today and their response to this in which they've said this. As noted in the report, we've already implemented the recommendation updates of our, this is the FMC and the EFB, this is the uh, flight management uh, computer and the electronic flight bag, again, having to deal with the computer on board. Training scenarios and incident reporting protocol, the safety of our customers continues to be our top priority. Heather? So, even as we get a statement on this one, John, we're learning of another incident. Yeah, now this is an aircraft <laughs> last week. This is not, uh, as was determined here, some sort of difficulty uh, with the crew in putting the wrong information. This was, they feel, a systems failure. This was leaving, uh, was coming from Punta Cana, just outside of Dulles uh, in Washington, D.C., on its way to Toronto Pearson, in which uh, there was a difficulty with the instrument readings by the captain. It switched over to the first officer, the first officer there then uh, coming uh, into play to make sure that the plane was able to carry on this all happening at 35,000 feet again a statement from Sunwing to us this morning the pilot followed the proper in-flight protocol including a precaution of requesting an emergency response in advance of landing at Pearson Airport and the incident was subsequently reported to Transport Canada